Aboard an Ares rocket is the Earth Return Vehicle, or ERV. No one is aboard this ship. It will pave the way for the astronauts who, years later, will use the ERV to return to Earth. On its second day, the ERV deploys a small nuclear power reactor. The reactor powers a chemical plant inside the ERV. The plant will produce the methane oxygen rocket fuel for the launch home. Nearby, a second robotic rover is guided to a pre-picked landing site for the human crew. It places a radar transponder to help guide the astronauts in. The long journey to land a human being on Mars begins. Three, more. Three two, one, engine start. skillfully assembled flight team in history, four astronauts begin their two and a half year mission to the Red Planet. This will be the first time a human has gone beyond the Earth-Moon system, 250 million miles farther than any person has ever been. To the health problems of zero gravity and to fully acclimate the astronauts to Mars, the ship will deploy a weighted tether attached to the last stage of the spent rocket booster. By thrusting the ship into a rotational spin, the counterweight of the rocket will create centrifugal force and thus artificial gravity. The crew will be able to live with their feet planted firmly on the floor during their six-month transit. But the HAB is not entirely alone on its journey. Just ahead of it is a second ERV, identical to the first. Launched just a few weeks prior to the HAB, it will prepare the way for a second human crew that will follow two years later.
can also function as a backup for the first mission, if anything should go wrong. On the sixth month of the flight, the crew will gaze upon an alien world. This is the new frontier. After days in orbit, and satisfied with the landing conditions, the crew will receive final word from Mission Control on Earth. All systems are go for entry, descent, landing. Three, two, one. Go ahead, please. It will be a tense 40 minutes before people back on Earth get the signal from Mars and know if everything has gone well. greatest journeys of discovery in the history of science. Will they find life? Or the fossilized remains of past life? Such a discovery could tell us whether our solar system has seen more than one genesis, and answer the ultimate question, are we alone? In any case, these explorers will be learning how feasible the colonization of Mars really is, and whether or not mankind has a future among the stars. Then, when the time comes and the window for Earth return opens, the crew will climb into their Earth return vehicle and head home. They will arrive home heroes, the first to stretch the limit of man's expanse from one planet to another, their names added to the list of great explorers of new worlds. In their footsteps, others will follow. What began as a trickle is free to rise into a deluge of humankind sweeping over a once barren land and transforming it into a viable new world.